this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regions problem number 33. Uh, if you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to NYSEDregions.com. Click on the appropriate tabs. So here's the problem. Uh, the grid below shows triangle ABC and triangle DEF. So I took a quick look at the diagram, not too deeply, but I see graph paper, the origin, where the triangles are. Okay. Let triangle A prime, B prime, C prime be the image of triangle ABC after a rotation about point A. Okay, some rotation. Determine and state the location of B prime if the location of point C prime is 8, negative 3. And explain your answer. And then is triangle DEF congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime? And explain your answer again. Okay. So let's see. Uh, definitely pause the video, try the problem on your own, and see if you can get this answer. If you can, you know, definitely hit the like button to let us know that, that you got it. Uh, so here's what we do. We know that the location of, and so this is the word triangle that's being rotated, ABC, a, and that the location of C prime after the rotation is the, the point 8, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's 8, and negative 3 is here. So that's the point. Let me go, uh, let me do this in, in blue. So that's the point C prime. Okay. So uh, from this, I know I can tell that this is going to be a, a counterclockwise rotation of 90 degrees. So that's A C prime. And then uh, since we're rotating around point A, this is A prime. Okay. So now, how do I determine the location of, of B prime? Well, I know that to get from, there's a few ways, and I'm, I'm gonna do it by formula, but we do need uh, at least some geometric intuition here, so let's see. Uh, to rotate, to get from C to B, I know I go to the right five, four spaces and up one. If I rotate that 90 degrees, then I have to go up four spaces and to the left one, so that's gonna be the location of B prime. Okay, so uh, again, uh, how do we do it? So to get from C to B, four spaces to the right and four spaces up. So C, uh, uh, C to B, uh, uh, I go four spaces to the right and one space up. The rotation of, by 90 degrees counterclockwise switches this uh, movement so it switches the one and the four and negates the first number, negative one. So I need to go to negative one spaces to the left. So one space to the left and then four spaces up. And that, that gets me to B prime. So that's by formula. So switch and then negate the first number. Okay, so that's B prime. So here is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, there it is. Now, uh, let's see. So that's how we got the uh, answer. Now they want us to explain the answer. Okay, we need words. Formula is not enough. So how do we how did we do this? So we we rotated C about point A uh, ninety degrees ninety degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so that, that means we rotate, we rotate B 90 degrees counterclockwise uh, around point A. Okay, oops, let me just drag this down a little bit. Okay, now, uh, so we drag a point A, and it's not lowercase, it's capital A. Um, so that to, to walk to uh, an app, so how about this, uh, an arrow from C to B points to B points 
in the direction uh, for uh, four comma one. Okay, rotating this arrow ninety degrees counterclockwise, the arrow becomes uh, negative one four. Okay, let me drag this uh, this down a little bit further. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Good. So ninety degrees is one negative four. So the arrow from C prime, which is the point uh, eight negative three, with the uh, points. Uh, to B prime eight minus one comma negative three plus four which equals to seven uh, one now let's make sure we've answered the same the question completely it says determine and state the location of B prime if we don't state the location of B prime then we do lose a point so this is the location seven one seven one we could tell seven one just by the graph. This is eight, one step back is seven, and then one step up is one. Uh, let's see, and that's, that is what we got here, so we know we've done the, the problem correctly. Okay, so now the second part, so that's two points. This is a four point problem. The second part of the problem is that is DEF, triangle DEF, congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, and explain your answer. Okay, so now, we see that triangle DEF is over here and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is over here. Now, we should be able to tell if the triangle is congruent uh, by, a way, there's a few ways. One is the side, side, side postulate, like this side is going to be congruent to this side, this side is going to be congruent to this side, uh, and this side is going to be congruent to this side of the two triangles. So these two triangles are going to be congruent by the side, side, side postulate, but it's not. We'd have to. We'd have to prove that those two sides are. Those three pairs of sides are congruent. Uh, so we're not going to go the route of proving the sides congruent. We're going to actually use a transformation. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reflect over the line. Uh, we're going to reflect triangle A prime B prime C prime over the line uh, y equals negative one. Okay. I'm sorry. X equals negative one. Okay, and we're going to do that by look, by counting distance. Uh, and why did I choose the y line y equals x equals negative one? Because I noticed that d and a, which correspond to each other, are a distance six apart. Uh, and I noticed that the uh, reflection vertically, I'm sorry, uh, reflection over a line that's a vertical is going to be uh, is going to map one onto the other. So the midline, the midpoint of these two points will contain the line. Uh, which we should reflect over and from D negative uh, X equals negative 4 and a X equals 2 uh, is, the, this is the point X equals negative 1 so this is the line that we reflect over uh, and how do we we're going to do it by counting distances now so we we're, so what do we say here we need we need to use words but we can calculate uh, reflection uh, over uh, reflection yes reflection over the line x equals 1 of the point um, a which is equal to uh, x equals I'm sorry negative 1 is a reflection or uh, x equals negative 1 of the point okay uh, a prime I'm sorry a prime is reflection of the point uh, let's see, 2 negative 3 and three spaces from two is negative one. Three spaces beyond that is negative four. So equals negative four. And the x coordinate is main, uh, the y coordinate is maintained at negative three, which is the point D. Okay. Um, the reflection over the x equals negative one of the point B prime is equal to the reflection over the line x equals negative one of the point. Let's see, uh, what is it? Eight, comma negative three. Uh, which is equal to, well, a dip from 8 to negative 1 is a distance 9. So 9 past that, well, x equals negative 1 is the point negative 10. So negative 10 
comma negative 3, which is the point F, okay? And then the reflection over the line X equals negative 1 of C prime, which is the reflection over the line X equals negative 1 of the point 7, 1 is equal to, well, 7 is a distance 8 away from X equals negative 1, so a distance 8 beyond that is X equals negative 9, so negative 9 comma 1, which is, let's verify this, that's point E. And in fact, neg uh, negative 9 is here, 1 up is, is point E, as we expected, okay? And that's point E, okay? And now we need words. This is not enough. Uh, this will get you a point, so definitely do this, even if you don't know how to verbally explain the answer. This will get you a point. So let's use now words. Since uh, triangle DEF is equal to the reflection over the line x equals one, negative 1 of triangle AB, A prime, B prime, C prime, uh, triangle DEF is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, that is the full verbal explanation that you need. You do need this though. If you don't have this, uh, if you lose a point because you don't have, otherwise you don't have words. Okay, so if your only goal was to get the answer to this question, definitely just you know go ahead and hit the next button. But we did create a problem, an extra practice problem for you that that you can use um, to do this. So now. Um, the grid below shows triangle ABC uh, and triangle DEF, and here are the same triangles as before. And determine and state and draw a series of transformations that will, tra will transform triangle DEF into triangle ABC. So what I notice here is that first uh, we are asked to prove that triangle DEF is congruent to ABC, or we're asked whether that's true, and then we're asked to explain our answer. But the first part tells us that we're going to transform triangle DEF into triangle ABC, and we should, if we don't have any dilations, then the triangles are congruent. Uh, so we're actually going to end up proving the triangles are congruent. Uh, we actually did already prove that the triangles are congruent in the previous problem because we did transformations to, to show triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is congruent to triangle DEF. So um, we've definitely done that. So we, we already know what the answer is going to be. But what we're going to do here, we, since we get to choose the transformations that we're going to use, we're not going to use uh, you know, the, the non-standard transformations. We have formulas that are nice for rotations over uh, by 90 degrees around the origin. We have nice formulas for reflections over the line uh, y equals x, for reflections over the x-axis, and reflections over the y-axis. We have nice formulas for dilations with the center of the dilation being the origin by any factor. And then we also have uh, nice formulas for the translations in any direction. So let's use just those to, to transform triangle DEF into triangle ABC. <clears throat> now I see triangle ABC is over here situated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate uh, this triangle in this direction. Hopefully I end up somewhere close to triangle ABC. I do notice that, hey, you know, clocks go in this direction, right? Clocks go in this direction. So this is in this direction. This rotation is in this direction. This is counterclockwise, okay? This is a counterclockwise rotation. So I'm going to rotate triangle DEF in the counterclockwise direction. Notice also transforming DEF into ABC. We're not transforming ABC into DEF. We're transforming DEF into ABC. So uh, a, we know a rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise of a point A, B. The nice formula that we have is that we switch to A and B and negate the first number. So switch to A and B, we get B, A, then negate the first number, negative B, A. Okay? So point D is the point 1, 2, 3, negative 4 and down negative 3, negative 4, negative 3. Point E is the point, let's see, negative 9, 1. And point F is the point, let's see, negative 10, negative 3. Okay? Now, I've, I've actually, I actually made a couple of careless errors earlier in, in previous takes of this video. Um, and the careless error that I made was uh, that, I, that I read the coordinates incorrectly. I, I missed positive, positive signs and negative signs. And another time when I went to multiply numbers by a negative one, I didn't correctly multiply by negative one. So advice to you is to make sure that you read the, the numbers correctly. 
And also, uh, since we are determined stating and drawing a series of transformations uh, that will transform DF into ABC, the drawing will serve as a check because you know a rotation is, uh, is, an, is a congruence preserving transformation. So if you get a drawing that is not congruent to the original triangle, there's an error. So I'm going to I'm going to reflect. I'm going to switch the x and the y, negative uh, four, negative three. So I'm going to call this point d prime. How about e prime and f prime? And I get negative uh, three, negative four. Then I negate the first number. The negative of negative three is three. Negative four, and then negative four stays the same. So three, negative four. Okay, e prime, I switch the nine, the negative nine to one, I get one, negative nine, then I negate the first number, negative one, nine. Okay, here I switch the negative 10 to the negative three, and then I negate the first number, so negative of negative three is three, and negative 10. Okay, <laughs> so let's see, three, negative four, negative one, negative nine, and three, negative 10. Okay. So this is D prime, E prime, and F prime. And I get this. Okay. So that looks like the, that looks a lot like triangle ABC. Um, but I need to, uh, I see that, that it, it has, to, uh, that since D and uh, D, prime f prime corresponds to ac i see that i do have to reflect e uh, over over the, in this direction so i'm going to reflect over the y axis now it moves triangle d prime e prime f prime to the left a little bit in a in a certain sense but that's okay because the translation of any, i can translate by any arbitrary amount we're not fixed by how much we can translate so i'm going to reflect over the the y axis so d prime e prime and f prime and let me write this in in blue in red now and i'm going to reflect oops okay i'm going to reflect over the sorry i don't know what happened there alt five reflect uh over the y-axis okay now uh, another formula that we have a reflection over the y-axis of a point A, B is equal to, we're, we're reflecting over the Y axis. So the Y coordinate is, is preserved, okay? The Y coordinate is preserved because the vertical distance is preserved, but the horizontal distance is, is negated. So an, a positive X becomes a negative X and a negative X value becomes a positive X. Either way, X is negated. So, and that's all that happens. So A becomes negative A and B just stays the same, okay? So D prime is three negative four. So D double prime is going to be um, negative three negative four. Okay. E double prime is going to be well negative one nine negate the negative one. I get one nine. Negative negative one is one. And then F double prime. F double prime is 3 negative 10, 3 negative 10, I negate the 3, I get negative 3, negative 10. Okay, and uh, now, I so that's D double prime, negative 3, uh, negative 4. E double prime, one, positive 1, 9, ne uh, positive 1, uh, sorry, there was a little typo there. So many typos. Uh, today was, today's my typo day, right? Because I switch the negative nine and the negative and the one, and I get one negative nine. Then I negate just the one, I get negative. There we go. So uh, sorry about that. And then um, back here, I get one negative nine. That's a confirmation because you know the figures have to be congruent. So one negative nine is there. Okay. And f double prime negative three all the way to the bottom, negative 10, that's that. So here's my figure, okay. Cool, so that's, that's uh, F double prime, that's uh, E double prime, and that's D double prime. Okay, so now 
I see that clearly triangle D, D, D double prime, E double prime, F double prime, and triangle ABC are common to each other. I can slide one into the other, and, I, and that's, that, that makes the two triangles overlap perfectly. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime onto triangle ABC by sliding, let's see, uh, how many units? One, two, three, four, five units to the right, one unit up. Let's just check for it with F prime, five, one, two, three, four, five, and one up. Okay, good, that's a check. And E double prime, one, two, three, four, five, and one up, that's, uh, that's a check. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna translate T by translate five units to the right and one unit up, uh, just a formula. Uh, let's put this in uh, black, okay? Uh, just a formula of translation by, by uh, H comma K of a point A, B is A plus H and B plus K, okay? So I'm going to add 5 to negative 3. Uh, let's see, 5 plus, negative 3 plus 5 is 2, okay? And... And then negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, which is equal to A to negative 3. And then B prime, uh, this point, e, uh, this point 1 plus 5 is 6, and negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8, okay, which is B, okay, and then C double, uh, and then F double prime, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. And then negative 10 plus 1 is ne uh, negative 9, so which is equal to C. Okay? So that is the list of transformations. Just sort of determine state and draw a series of transformations. So the transformation is, for the first transformation on triangle AB, uh, DEF, is the rotation that we did. Rotation of... 90 degrees. And then the second transformation that we did was our reflection over the y-axis. And then the third reflection that we did, the third transformation that we did is a translation by 5-1. And that's the transformation. Okay, that's the series of transformations that transforms triangle ABC, uh, DEF into triangle ABC. Okay? Now, the second question is, is DEF triangle DEF congruent to triangle ABC? Explain your answer. And yes, the answer is yes. Yes, uh, triangle ABC. Uh, I'm sorry, they want to use that word DEF. DEF is congruent to triangle ABC because okay, a series of rotations, reflections, and dilate, uh, no, not dilations, translations. Transformed, triangle DEF into Triangle A, B, C. Uh, it can be proven that the only transformations that, that preserve congruence for all shapes is are those three uh, rotations, uh, on the plane at least, rotations, reflections, and translations. So uh, it happened to be that we used all three of them in this problem. Combinations of them, you know. Uh, okay, so if, look, this was meant to be a tough problem. So hopefully you struggled with this. If you did not struggle with this, hey, great job. But if you struggled with this, uh, that's a normal thing because this is meant to be, again, I constructed this problem to be extra difficult, uh, but not so far that, that you couldn't get something out of it. So listen, you can do it. You just keep working at it. Keep watching these videos. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.